always start with uh, usually about six balls of clay. Uh, and they're wedged and prepared. I like to prepare ahead of time. Sometimes I'll uh, wedge these up uh, the day before just so you're fresh and ready to start. So I'm going to be slapping it in my hands so that I'm rounding the base and turning the clay as I'm picking it up. And notice that they are uh, conical, slightly rounded on the bottom. I'm just going to wet my wheel a little bit. You want it damp, but not wet. You just want the clay to stick to the wheel. So you can throw the clay as close to center as possible, and you can tell that by the concentric rings of your wheel. If your wheel has concentric lines to guide you, that's a little easier. But the next step, I'm just going to get the wheel going very, very slow and pat the clay with my hand cupped. Right about, I don't know, one, two o'clock. I'm often going to make references to a clock. So this is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3, 9, everything in between. So I'm going to pat the clay with the wheel going very slowly to help attach it to the, wheel, uh, to the wheel head, also to get it more into centered, and you're just compacting the clay, just spending a little bit of time preparing this clay. Just remember throughout the process that you're doing a lot of repetitive motion. So you do want to put pressure on certain areas of the clay, but that's very specific. So if you find yourself getting tense in the shoulders or really working too hard if sweat is dripping off your brow, you're working too hard. The wheel is doing all the work for you, so keep that in mind. Before I actually put any pressure on the clay, I want to ground myself. I want to make sure that my feet are on the floor, my knees are against the splash pan or the wheel, that my elbow is tucked against the, my hip socket right here. That's my, that's my mark. This is where the strength comes from. This is where you get your energy and your power right here. So you're going to be leaning your body weight onto the, uh, at six o'clock on the clay. So this is your strong hand. This is your angle iron. And that's sort of the, the where the pressure comes from is six o'clock from your angle iron hand and 12 o'clock at this part of, part of your hand right here. And this is like a claw hand. So it's an angle iron and a claw. And it, this, the left hand is gonna hit the clay at six o'clock. The right hand is gonna hit the top of the clay at 12 o'clock. You wanna get your wheel going fairly fast, close to full speed. Brace yourself and wet your hands. I don't use a lot of water and make sure you're close enough to your wheel. Angle iron, claw, compression. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The hands come together. I don't spend a long time on the clay, just about eight seconds. After you cone the clay, now I hold on to the clay with the point beneath my thumb knuckle. Add a little water if you need to, but not much. The right hand is a fist, and I'm going to plant my elbow into my hip socket. As the hammer comes down, my body weight comes down on the clay. It's more a 45 degree angle than coming straight down. And right about this point, I start picking up the pressure at six o'clock with my angle iron, and I continue pushing the clay down. At the very bottom, I tuck under slightly with my pinky. You want to go through this process of raising the clay and compressing it back down about three times. So ideally, that's, that's what we're, we're working towards. So angle iron, claw, compression. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You really don't want to stay on the clay any longer than you really have to. Um, 
I know it's an enjoyable process. However, when you spend a lot of time with your hands on the clay, it takes away from the time that you can spend with it later. So back at the top, holding on to the clay, and the hammer comes down. Two, two, three, four, right about here. Pressure from six o'clock. Five, six, seven, and the pinky tucks under. It's just a slight little tuck right there. And one more time. Angle iron, claw, compression. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holding on to it at the top, and the hammer comes down. Two, two, three, four. Pressure at six o'clock, five, six, seven, and the pinky tucks under. All right, so now that the clay is centered, you're ready to move on to the next step.